For a while now, people have been asking me about a shop system tutorial. While shops aren't all that complicated, what makes them difficult is that they have to interact with so many other systems. They have to communicate with individual items, with your inventory manager, your player's health system, and your character's stats manager. This can be hard to account for in a single tutorial. But the time has finally come. My action RPG series is at a point where it really needs some items, which means it needs an inventory system, which means we should really add a shop. So for the next few weeks, I'll be releasing a new video each week that will work us up to adding a shop system into our game. First, we'll add items to the game. We'll create a generic loot object that you can put into your game, and then we'll use scriptable objects to give them life. The scriptable object will hold all of the item's data, like its appearance, description, and stat bonuses. When we place it on the loot object, it will dynamically create that object in our scene. We'll also add a cute little animation on picking up the item. Once we've got items, we'll be ready to add an inventory system. If you've used my inventory system, you'll be familiar with the general setup here, though this system will feature some improvements as well as some customizations that will set it up for easy use with our shop system. The inventory will be relatively simple, with a gold icon that keeps track of your currency, and three slots which can be accessed like a hotbar. If you want a larger inventory that can be toggled open and close, you can just scale this one up and it will work for that purpose. That said, for this series, I'm going to keep it simple. Each inventory slot can be clicked on in order to use the item, or right-clicked if you want to drop the item back onto the map. We'll control all of this through three fairly simple scripts. Each slot will have an inventory slot script, which will control its appearance and keep track of the item and quantity. The use item script will make it possible to actually apply the effect when you use an item. And finally, the inventory manager script will run the show, organizing and helping all the scripts to talk to each other. With all that done, we'll be ready to add the shop system. This will be a powerful system that shows the shopkeeper and allows you to toggle between item types. For my example, I'll include an item menu as well as a weapon menu, though adding more menus will be incredibly easy from here. From within the item menu, you can mouse over a slot to see a description of the item as well as its stats. You can click to purchase, as long as you have enough gold, and you can also click on items in your inventory in order to sell them to the shop. Each shopkeeper will have a fun little icon that activates when you get close, and adding more shops to your game will also be easy. To add a new shop, you can copy-paste an existing shop on your map, move it into place, and then all you have to do is change the shopkeeper's appearance, and click on the shopkeeper's script to choose which items to sell and what the prices will be for this shop. My plan is to release one video a week until the series is finished. That said, if you'd like to encourage me to speed things up a bit, or you just want to buy me a coffee for all the late nights this is going to cause me, feel free to send me a super thanks here on YouTube or pop into my Patreon site to buy me a coffee over there. I also really appreciate encouraging comments and likes as those help YouTube know that people appreciate this sort of content. I hope to see you in the next video when it drops next week. Until then, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.